if you had to say a best guess probability, what do you feel is a likelihood that we will engineer consciousness into super intelligent AGI? Well, as I said, I, I think the pro, the far more likely situation is that we will will create the intelligence and have no idea whether it's conscious. It'll be indistinguishable. Yeah, yeah. it'll just be. It'll it'll seem more conscious than yeah. us because it'll be more intelligent than us. I, I have no doubt. There there is simply no doubt that intelligence is substrate independent. I mean, there's just there's just no reason to think that there's something magical about biology with respect to what we mean by intelligence. I mean, we've just we've what we have now is already so effectively intelligent that you know even if you're going to go come at it in a piecemeal way, even if even if forget about trying to perfectly emulate human intelligence. Let's just take the top hundred things we care about as as you know acts of cognition uh, and intelligence. You know, each one of those can you know just. We already know it's like arithmetic. Yes, you can build a superhuman calculator, and all of us have one in our pockets right now. You know, it's just your smartphone is better at arithmetic than you will ever be, and just add, just add up all of those capacities. We know they're all substrate independent, and we know recognizing faces and recognizing the gender of faces and recognizing voices and uh, all of that is you know all of these human attributes. Um, are accomplished in in silico now, right? So I think it's it's not going to be much longer before we have systems that pass the Turing test in all the ways that could matter to us. I mean, even if they seem weird in some other ways or just not quite human. I mean, they they, they won't they they'll, they'll fail the Turing test the moment they pass it because they'll pass it so spectacularly it'll be obvious they're not human. Right? It's like it's it's already obvious that no human knows it has instant no human has instantaneous access to everything on the internet, right? So the fact that I can ask ChatGPT something and it can give me facts more comprehensively and in a more orderly way and faster than any person can, even even if it's not perfect in other areas, the fact that I can say, you know, what are the causes of World War II? And it, within five seconds, can give me a mini essay on the causes of World War II that's better than, you know, any you know academic historian can accomplish in the in the same span of time. All right, it's already superhuman. It's already I already know there's not a, a, a little man in the box, you know, typing you know his answer to me. Um, so they will be the moment they're general, they'll be not human level but superhuman and. The moment we give them any kind of relational capacity that matters, the moment they become sensitive to our tone of voice and our facial expression, and the, the moment we're integrated with them, you know, you're, you're, you're piping your watch data or your ring data to your AI assistant, so it, it's been tracking your heart, heart rate and sleep cycles too, right? It's integrating all that information for you. Then you're going to be talking to a, a machine. I mean, we, we, you know, forget about a humanoid robot where that's you know going to make it seem like Westworld. I mean, even if it's just Siri on your phone, but just the next iteration of Siri that is, you know, essentially ChatGPT five, you know, plus all of your your uh, health data. You're going to be in the presence of something that is more observant of your inner life than any person can be from the outside. Mm. So it's going to know you better than your spouse knows you on some level, right? Especially if it's reading your emails and reading your texts and it's, it's read everything you've ever published and listened to all, like in my case, you know, my wife hasn't listened to my podcasts, right? Like I've got 300 episodes of my podcast that my virtual assistant will have heard, right? Um, my wife hasn't heard them, so she doesn't know what I was thinking about on all those for all those hours, right? I'm going to be in the presence of Siri that uh, can say, "Sam, you know, you, you you definitely you look tired, you sound tired, um, you're not going to hear here are five things I want you to pay attention to. You know, this is what you forgot you wanted to do today, but but you sent that email to. Uh, uh, it's like it it will be, you'll sudden the moment the thing is responsive to you relationally, 
you, you are going to feel, helplessly feel, that you're in the presence of the smartest, most perceptive person you've ever met. And that's going to feel like being in the presence of consciousness, right? Especially if we don't, I mean, if, if we hamstring the, the thing to say at every moment, to remind us at every moment, listen, I'm just a dumb machine. You're not killing me when you turn me off. I'm not conscious. and nothing that's like to be me. You haven't solved the hard problem. problem. You know, I mean, that's possible. But at a certain point, I don't know. I mean, like, again, the, for me, Westworld is unimaginable because in the presence of perfectly humanoid robots, which is to say we're out of the uncanny valley, they no longer look weird, they look human, and, they're, and they're, so their facial displays of emotion are not spooky, they're just like, they look human. The, if we ever get there, and I, you know, I don't think there's any reason to think we won't, um, there's no way you could have a place like Westworld where you're treating them badly and, you know, raping them and killing them and like, like, because you will feel like a psychopath. You will be viewed as a psychopath by other people. Like you're like, if that's your idea of fun, if your idea of fun is to rape and kill Dolores, right? You're a rapist murderer, right? Like you like, that's it. Like, and it doesn't matter that she's a robot, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's too compelling an illusion. The fact that you were able to give yourself over to the illusion with that kind of, you know, rapacity, um, proves that there's something wrong with you, right? And and so that like so Westworld I, th I think is unthinkable or at least like uh, otherwise it would just function as a mm. a bug light for psychopaths. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, so which is to say that once we're in the presence of anything like a a perfectly compelling humanoid robot, it's going to be a very weird world and we're we're not going to know you know, very likely we're not going to know whether they're conscious, and yet we're going to helplessly relate to them as though they're, they're people.